Well, nothing funny about what happened in March of 2020. You're two months into the role. Uh, the buildup, as we've discussed, um, has occurred. You're, you're in place. You're setting a new path, your own path. And then we have this thing called a pandemic. So how'd you deal with that? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's a, it's a great question. Um, I dealt with it with the team. We, um, we got everyone together and we real so we were actually in Europe in March and we said, should we go on this trip? Should we not go on this trip? And so we were in London and with our European teams. And that's when you really started to see it all unfolding. And so we had already begun, what is this going to mean for Europe? How, and we were with the leadership team. We then flew back. There was some more news and really our fleet, um, took a dramatic turn at the end of, um, really through March. And so we knew we needed to get the team together. And so we had 8 a.m. meetings every single day for hours. And our boardroom actually became the war room, if you will. And we got everyone together. And every day we were talking about what the plan was. And our first and foremost fo focus was the safety and well-being of our employees and our customers. And I think every single business would say that. And so we were we are a frontline business. We are renting cars to the general public. We are selling cars to the general public and they are coming into our stores. And so what did we need to do to make, to ensure the safety and the teams went out and, and did it. I, the great thing about us is when we decide to do something and get a plan together, we go for it. The team gets on board. We have some discussion about it, but we are great executors and the entire team came together. And that is not just sitting in St. Louis. We have amazing leaderships and leadership, our general managers in every single market. And we're fairly decentralized in that nature. And our general managers, we were calling them on a daily basis to make sure consistently across the US and across the globe, we had the same operating policies to make sure everybody was safe. And so that was just the first step. It was really about crisis management and what we needed to do on a daily basis. That was like but, on the outset or like the beginning. But the world, the world stopped traveling. Right. Yes. And, uh, you know, you're a rental car company. So how do you navigate that? That's right. And so the fir first thing we needed to tell everyone. So communications became one of my top priorities. And when there's uncertainty, it, when there's uncertainty with the business, we need to communicate that. But when there's uncertainty with your personal safety and our employees, not just thinking about the business, they're thinking about their own families. I needed to step up and the teams needed to step up to communicate. And so we started launching video messages and talking about where the business was. Yes, we were parking 1 million cars in the US last spring and business had come to a grinding halt. However, at no point in time did we think long-term our business was going to be severely impacted or that we weren't gonna be around anymore because that was a real concern and a real concern in our industry. And so the first thing we needed to do was just tell the team that we are gonna be around, we are still here and we're gonna move. So then people could worry about their personal health and safety. Um, so that the communication um, was big. And then operationally, we needed to find parking spaces for the vehicles. And mm -hmm. so we, we started parking cars. Um, it was all hands on deck. We are moving vehicles, people in the field, um, which our people have been so amazing and have risen to this challenge and have gone above and beyond. They were doing jobs that they normally didn't do. And so it was a team sport to get ourselves organized in the cars in the right place and adapt to what was and really react to what was going on. You had to have been going home at th those first few weeks, you know, with your head in your hands to some extent going, I don't know where this is going. No one knew where it was going. Yeah. And, and, no, and whether you were in the hospitality industry, uh, the service industry, you know, what, whatever, I mean, everybody was touched by this at the same time without a clear path on where it was going. It's got to be incredibly frustrating as you, as you had built up to a point where strategically from a from a plan perspective you knew exactly where you wanted to go it's just this was never you know it's the cliche like pivot it was never in the playbook 
That's right. It wasn't in the playbook, but it was sitting there right in front of us. And so we needed to react and address the situation. Um, it, there wasn't, because safety played such a role in this, there wasn't time to think back and say, oh no, we can't do those plans. We were in reaction mode and we needed to do that for the health and safety of everyone. And, but we knew financially we were going to get through this and that our, we were going to keep our employees safe. Um, so, you know, hindsight, you know, we did not see the end. Um, we kept comparing it to the recession in 08, um, where we had two, we actually had three not so great months in the recession. Um, and we said, you know what, we, we're going to do better than that. We can do this. We can, we can pull this together. We can right size our organization. And we did that. And so when I, when I look back that those several months in spring, it was, we were reacting. And then after that, once Memorial weekend came, we saw an uptick in business yeah. and any uptick in business was a win. And so winning may look a little different right now and building back our business, but we'll take it. And so since Memorial weekend, we have been building back our business. And so right there at Memorial weekend and last summer we reset and now we're talking about, okay, let's reshape our business. Let's get back to the plans that we were trying to establish in January. So we keep using these words with our team, react, reset, reshape. That's what happened. And it's time to move forward. In fact, um, you instituted the complete clean pledge, which was a relaunch of your company's cleaning protocols. Employees obviously went through that, that training. You modified your services to include curbside rental transactions, uh, delivery at some locations, um, serving customers where they needed to be served. It goes back to Jack's credo, right? To his credo. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, and it's also about partnerships. So the complete clean pledge, we knew that safety and cleanliness and, you know, the sanitation of vehicles or branches or shuttle bus, um, there was just an even more heightened awareness at that time. And so enter the complete clean pledge. And then also our partnership with Clorox, which they have been a great great partner. And so you have a one wipe Clorox wipe in every vehicle. And so we were thinking about what is everything that we can do to build confidence in travel. The travel industry is trillions of dollars to the economy. And we need to do our part to get that traveler back online. And that was about building confidence. That was about, you know, our complete clean pledge. That was the, our partnership with Clorox that was going out to the curb and providing a low touch interaction. So we are still thinking about that because even though we see demand this summer and we are so excited that people are back <laughs> online, we still have more to go, right? We see the leisure customer. We need to build confidence in that business traveler. Um, so we need to keep doing that so that we, that the entire travel industry comes back online. But, but now there's a different problem. Now you can't get any cars. <laughs> it's one challenge. It's another <laughs> challenge. You know what? In two years, there's going to be another challenge. I like to say that, hey, I may have only been CEO for 14 months, but we're going to get every single problem out of the way. We're not going to know what to do with ourselves over the next decade. <laughs> we got this. Hashtag yeah. we got this. <laughs> truly, truly uh, hitting every curveball that comes your way. Yeah.